I, Luther Campbell, I am a villain. I'm a bad guy. That's why when you look at my profile, bad boy hip hop, I will never get into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Puff Daddy was not a villain. He was one of them. Kanye West was not, was one of them. Jay-Z was one of them. Biggie Smalls, a villain. Tupac, a villain. We all are villains. And until you people realize that as black in America, you are the villain. You are, it's black and white. You are the opposite of white. We will always be in competition with them. Y'all don't hear me. So when they subscribe to the TV and you look at the TV and you see primetime Deion Sanders at, at every day, they going at it. He ain't this, he ain't that. He gonna finish last in this conference. He the worst thing in the world. Oh, he don't know how to coach. He don't know how to do this. Of all the power five coaches, all 365 of them, he does not get the same smoke. Nobody gets the same smoke that he gets. And he's one of three black coaches in power five. Mike Tomlin. They question him because he he changed the quarterback. There are quarterbacks in all 32 teams getting switched out every week. How dare him change the quarterback? He's a villain. He's a black coach. Nobody ever questioned any other white coach in the NFL for switching out a damn quarterback. Everybody has something to say. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, uh, Ben Rothenberg, oh, what is he doing? Uh, Teddy Bridge, te not Teddy, what am I talking about, Teddy Bridge? I love Teddy. Uh, 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 Terry Bradshaw, what is he doing? How dare he change the quarterback? Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson out there lighting it up. We are the villains, people. Then they find people who look like us, and they put them on a platform. They put them on a pedestal because they can control us them y'all don't hear me i'm preaching today boss welcome to the sermon i am in my pool pulpit right now giving y'all the understanding of who y'all are because y'all don't know who y'all are most black people don't know who they are when you're black you're the villain don shula dan marino Mercury Morris was the villain when Don Shula was the coach. And who was the good guy? Larry Zonka and Jim Kick. Mercury Morris run the ball all the way down to the end zone. That's why I'm not a Don fan right now. And you have a, a lot of black guys like you have a lot of black guys who want to be with them. They turn coats. They house ends. They sell outs. They Uncle Toms. That's why they got names. I'm just saying. It is what it is. They know their role. And those individuals, y'all think for, for one, for y'all think white people don't know their history. know the history of America just like y'all know the history of America. Everybody think only black people know the history of America. Why do know the history of America? They know their history. They know they uh, black people have black people in I'm not mad at them. They want to keep control of something that they've had control since the Indians. You got to respect that. What you're supposed to do is buckle up your bootstraps and say, hey, look here, I'm ready to go to anybody. But we don't do that. They know that they can find, uh, you found House and Uncle Tom and Sambo. They know that there are Sambo's, Uncle Tom's, 
in our race. They know how to identify them. <clears throat> they sought after them. They, they are the dividers and conquerors. They are the dividers. And they know, just like we know next, they know black next. They know a certain type of black person, that's a real black dude. They, he, he wanted to just like, y'all think them people don't know that? I'm just saying, I'm out here in the dark. It then got dark now. The sky is no longer burning. What's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to Vibe City Industries. Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you're watching us from. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for taking time to watch our content. We really appreciate your support. Now, from the video to just watch, that was one Uncle Luke. And Uncle Luke, you know, is one of the public figures who has always come out you know to call out stuff as they are and he doesn't care about what he says as long as he believes that he is telling the truth and you know he was live on his instagram and today he was talking about the whole black and white and the whole racism card that has been going on and this is after you know one of the people that were watching his live you know went ahead and asked him about you know the match that happened you know a few days ago between Jake Paul and you know Mike Tyson and he said that you know the only thing that he can comment about the match or he was hoping out of the match that you know Mike Tyson could come out of the match you know without any issues because we all know that Mike Tyson despite the fact that you know he is 58 years old he decided to hop into the ring you know with Jake Paul who is only 27 years old and you know they had a match which was live on Netflix and over 70,000 people you know went out to Texas you know to watch and have the experience of history because you know this is you know a match that everyone has been anticipating for because Mike Tyson came back to the ring after a very long time and according to Jake Paul he believes that you know the winning of Jake Paul was unfair and this is because you know every white person you know sees a black person as a villain and he started by saying that you know he himself he is seen as a villain that's why he can never be nominated in any category or any music award and he also came out and said that you know many black people are being seen as a villain and them as black people they have been fighting you know to maintain the same position as white people in america he also went ahead and talked about the whole election that just happened a couple of weeks ago saying that you know the reason why Kamala you know lost to Donald Trump is because Kamala you know isn't white that's why you know they couldn't vote her in because they can't control a black, a black person who is you know at a higher level but it's something that you know has popped out out of this whole life and something that has brought mixed reaction is when he went ahead and mentioned you know the likes of Jay-Z, Kanye West, and Puff Daddy saying that, you know, those are the only black people who have crossed to the other side. And he believes that, you know, the black people who are being controlled, you know, in this industry. And he went ahead and mentioned the likes of Jay-Z, Kanye West, and Puff Daddy saying that those are the only black people who are being controlled. You know, I don't know who is controlling them really, but... According to Uncle Luke, he believes that, you know, those people have already crossed to the other side. And he said that, you know, real black people cannot be controlled. That's why, you know, they always stand towards the tr towards true. And that's why the white people don't appreciate the black people. And according to Uncle Luke, you could tell you that, you know, he had so much talk about the whole, you know, racism card. Saying, why do you, they have to address them as black Americans? And why does the white people don't address themselves as Europe Americans or white Americans? And why do they have to address, you know, the black people as black Americans each and every time? And he said that, you know, this is something that, you know, the blacks should understand. And, you know, they should know that they have to work an extra mile harder so that they can prove themselves when it comes to, you know, competition in the United States of America. And for those who don't know about Uncle Luke, you know, Uncle Luke is an American rapper, promoter, record executive, actor, and former leader of the rap group, Live Crew, and he also known for having helped create the Miami best genre for establishing one of the first rap group and rap levels in Southern Hip Hop and his sexual crude called Response Lyrics, which were unique for the time period. He also starred in a short live show on HV1 that's called, you know, Luke's Parental Advisory. So seeing how Mike Uncle Luke has just come out, you know, to talk about this whole racism card and how 
black people have always you know been left out in everything you as a black person watching this video what message do you have for uncle Luke? do you agree with everything that he said and do you agree that you know him coming out and calling out Kanye West Jay-Z and Puff Diddy saying that they have crossed to the other side do you believe that he's saying the truth go ahead and tell us your opinion down below in the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video